In this video, we'll go over some texture import settings. So let's get started. We'll turn this sphere into a basket sort of material. The first thing we're going to do is select our material and select the PBR shader. Now I will drag the textures needed for the PBR shader into the textures folder. Uh, here we have the ambient occlusion map, which is a special texture. Special textures need to be non-color data or in linear color space, and they do need to be lossless. Uh, this is the base color, so this is the sRGB color data for our model. Uh, this can be lossy to save up some space. This is the metallic map, also a special texture. A normal map, which is probably the most common use case for uh, non-color data. The roughness map, also a special texture. And the skybox. This can also be lossy. Now that all of our textures are imported, let's select them in the material. You will notice that uh, the albedo map, map is only offering the textures that are in, co uh, in color space or sRGB. And the normal map slot is only offering the linear data. So we will select the normal map here, metallic here, roughness here, ambient occlusion here, and the skybox here. Now this is already a basket, but you will notice that there is a warning that this effect is very large. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit some of the import settings. One of the things that you might have noticed is the metallic map is a simple black texture. And when we re-import that, uh, we don't actually need mid maps for that. So we can select that it has no mid maps. And we can even scale it down a bit more to say 16 by 16. So that this should save up, save up some space. Uh, the ambient occlusion map isn't very impactful. Currently its power is set to zero, but we can resize it to say, this size, and this gets rid of our warning. We can also edit other settings here. And that's how you import textures.